So Yeelight sent me this screen bar for review, and I'm looking at it thinking, well, it's great and all, how am I going to use it to slag off Philips Hue? And then I flipped it over and said, Ah, that's interesting. You see, this light bar doesn't just illuminate your desk. It's also got RGB lights on the rear side of it that project onto the wall behind the monitor too. And it's then that I remembered that Ye Light have a relationship with Razer Chroma. Philips Hue are the devil. Literally. FIGURATIVELY! No, literally. When they're not removing Alexa support for their original bridge in order to force you into buying their new bridge, they're charging £50 for a light bulb that is provably duller than those you can buy from Lidl. So anytime I get the opportunity to wean a Philips Hue user off Philips Hue's teat, I take it. Thanks to Yeelight for sponsoring today's video and for sending me their screen bar LED desk lamp. This thing is obviously designed primarily to simply declutter your desk and reduce eye strain. But by adding an Ambilight to the back of it, they've actually given us a really good reason to dump Philips Hue Sync product because they've linked it to Razer Chroma so that it can react to what's on your screen. It works with She That Should Not Be Named, Google Home, and even has a Home Assistant integration. Today's video discusses the pros and cons of this light bar, but more importantly, shows you how you can use it in conjunction with your Philips Hue products so that you can slowly wean yourselves off them, and even use it in conjunction with your Lithex Lights 2 so that you can have all of your lights react to your PC games. But before we get into that, It has a wireless remote. It comes with instructions for some reason. Mine came with a US plug, which always puts a smile on my face. Ah, damn it! And the screen bar is thankfully USB-C and works off of any powered USB port. And so I have connected mine directly to my PC monitor. Is it in yet? Said no girl to me, ever. Unsubscribe! This is smutty rubbish! Oh, there you go! That's awesome! I love it! If you're happy to use the little hockey puck remote to turn it on and off and alter brightness, then that is all the setup you need. Stick it on the top of your monitor, and this thing can control it. Once you put batteries in it, which aren't included. So you'll spend step one grumbling to yourself in middle-aged man. More batteries in this house than a bloody Tesla factory. Paul Hibbert, battery aficionado, lover of batteries. Elon Musk should invest in Paul Hibbert. Idiot. You will, of course, immediately forgive it the first time you give that hockey puck a little push. I do like that! Oh my goodness. The remote has a single click gesture to toggle the main light on and off, and a hold gesture to toggle the rear light on and off. You can twist to adjust the brightness of the main light, and hold and twist to adjust the color temperature. The screen bar can be tilted to illuminate more or less of the desk, and the angling of this is better than my previous screen bar, as I can actually shine it directly on my keyboard. And if that's all you wanted to do, then that's it, job done. But there's more fun to be had. And by fun, I mean nightmare because technology is terrible. 
But most of this is actually really easy. You can connect it to the Yeelight app, you can connect it to the Xiaomi app, you can then connect it to Google Home and She That Should Not Be Named simply by adding their skills in the usual manner. All of that's very easy, and in fact, it's also very easy to add it to Home Assistant. He's going to yell Home Assistant whilst humping the air. It's all he ever does, and it's not funny. It wasn't funny before, it's not funny now, and it never will be funny. All of my friends on the Home Assistant forum say so, because Home Assistant, Home Assistant, Home Assistant, Home Assistant, Home Assistant! Go visit any Home Assistant forum. That's what they like, and they hate me. Can't imagine why. Yes, I can. But I digress. The setup process is the usual case of putting the device into pairing mode by cutting the power five times and then searching for it in either the Yeelight app or the Xiaomi Home app. In order to connect it to Home Assistant, you just need to tick the box in the Yeelight app to turn on LAN control. Once LAN control is enabled, you'll be able to use the Yeelight integration to discover and use both the front and the rear lights and add them to a room. I don't want to stick it. You can stick it right up your arm. So far, so easy. But that's when things become a complete nightmare. Because unfortunately, Razer, God bless them, decided to make this incredibly valuable piece of software for your computer, which listens to what your graphics card is doing, and then translates that into the lights around your room to match what is on your monitor. This is great for your video games. The kids still call them video games? I don't care, I'm 40. The Razer Synapse software may well have been code adopted directly in hell, probably in conjunction with Philips Hue. <laughs> but it works great as long as you're not trying to do anything too complicated, and for our purposes, it's reasonably straightforward as long as you have someone to take you through the steps. So I'm gonna do that for you now. Step one, download and install the Razer Synapse software to your home computing system. Step two, download and install the Yeelight Chroma Connector app to your home computing system. Step three, download the Lifex app and discover that none of your Lifex lights are detected and that you need to make alterations to the TCP IP properties of your ethernet connection in your computer in order to- Wait, what? I'm trying to turn over a new leaf here, so I'm desperately trying not to slag off Lifex, but come on, you have to change the adapter properties for the TCP IP. What? Why would you? I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna slag him off. I will! What the f were you thinking, you bunch of fing puppets? Recode your half ass, half finished piece of software, you utter bunch of I'll put a link in the description to the guide that I followed in case you're interested in connecting your Lifex, Lifex, however it's pronounced, in case you're interested in attaching those lights to your computer. It's not actually that hard, and all you've got to do is go into the IP settings of your network adapter and disable automatic metric and set it to five instead. Then all of your lights will magically be discovered by the Lifex app. Why not? Connecting your Philips Hue app lights is even easier than it is to connect the Yeelight light. All you've got to do is go into the Razer Synapse app, find the Hue section, and tell it to link to your bridge. It's actually really easy because they've cozied up to Philips directly. Why not? The founders. <laughs> Once all of your individual lights are discovered within their individual apps, they will automatically appear in the Razer Synapse app for you to start making alterations to them. This leads us to step four. Step four! What is this complete load of bollocks? This is a train wreck and you want to kill yourself! The Razer software is so complex, so I'm just gonna walk you through it step by step. All you've gotta do is go to the Studio tab, add the Ambient Aware effect to the Effect Layer section. This will tell all of the lights that it knows about to react to what's on the screen. Now it's just a case of selecting the bits of the screen that each light should respond to, 
so that if I click on my LiftX light, I can now choose to have it to react to only the left portion of the monitor. Then I can select my Yi light and choose to have it only react to the top portion of the monitor. And for more accurate results, you can manually select the portion of the monitor by clicking edit region and then drawing the box around the screen. That's it, hit save and you're done. There's nothing wrong with the light bar itself, it's awesome, really awesome in fact. But the one problem I have had with this project is that there is no way to use more than one E-Light. I can use the light bar at the top, that's it. I have other E-Light light bulbs that I would have liked to have used, but unfortunately Razer sees all E-Lights as one light, which means that it changes all of the colors simultaneously no matter where they are located. I've reached out to E-Light to ask them if and when they plan to resolve this, and as soon as I have an answer for you, I shall update the description. In the meantime, there are actually ways in which you can get it to utilize different Yi lights for different areas of the screen, but only for video games that have been coded up specifically. There are quite a lot of them. But unfortunately for me, not Assassin's Creed or Grand Theft Auto, and therefore the method I've used is the only way. Hopefully Yi light will resolve that soon, and like I said, the description will let you know. The light bar itself is gorgeous, and it's the only thing on the market that I know of that has the Razer Synapse functionality built directly into a desk light. If you're interested in buying one of these things, then as usual, there are links in the description as to where you can pick one up, and I think, I think, a discount code too. I'm gonna have to check my email for that one, and I shall put that in the description if I've got one. Go have a look at the description if you'd like to pick one up, and hopefully there'll be a discount too. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That'll tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when I upload videos. These incredible people here are my patrons from Patreon and without them, I know I say this every week, I would not be making these videos. These videos take up like 80 hours of my life each week, and I'm not exaggerating. I would just go back to the day job if it wasn't for those guys. If you want to be one, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal. And either way, I will genuinely love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my Instagrams and my TikToks too. Come and hang out there and we can be best friends. See you next time. It's not funny, it's never been funny, and it never will be funny! Yeah! <laughs> it's never been funny! You should not do it! <laughs> Simply by adding the skills to the individual things. The hell was that? <laughs> what? What was that? It's not funny, it isn't funny, it's not funny, and it's not funny! <laughs> <laughs> All of it present tense! <laughs>